Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2buzz.com and today uh, we'll be doing the second Q&A session and uh, what I have done is I have selected quite a few questions and uh, do note that uh, some of the users have posted multiple questions but I have just selected one question per user so that every user gets a chance. So let's get away with this second Q&A session. And I have got quite a few questions, so I have divided them into parts. We have questions about mobile ICS, uh, we have questions about uh, uh, processors and even routers. So let's get on with it. And the first question is from SS Prasad Tem and he asks, which OS do you think is the best, Mac or Windows? And will manufacturers produce cheap ICS phones? ICS is, means uh, ice cream sandwich, that's the Android 4 update. And the first part of the question, which OS do you think is the best, Mac or Windows? Um, the thing is that uh, which OS is good for uh, you or me will depend entirely on the type of softwares that uh, you use. For example, let's say you have some specialized software uh, for your daily work that will work only on a Windows. Uh, you might need to go with Windows. Or let's say you have some specialized software that you use every day and that works on the Mac, then you go for a Mac. So uh, deciding the platform, I would say first uh, look at what kind of software that you're going to run on your computer. Then you can decide the operating system. Uh, generally, uh, I feel the Macs are a lot easier to use and for creative professionals like who work a lot with video and video editing stuff, Mac is preferred. And you cannot say that a Mac is better or a Windows is better, but I feel Macs are let a little bit less intrusive than Windows and you have to do a lot less babysitting with the Mac. And for your next part of the question, will manufacturers produce cheap ICS phone? Definitely yes, the, most of the Android manufacturers will start producing cheap Android ICS phones but not now. Currently you will only see the high end Android phones to come out with ICS updates. Um, in the next uh, 3 or 4 months we will start seeing mid range Android phones to get ICS update and only after that I would say after about 6 months or so we will see uh, budget Android phones with new models that will get the ice cream sandwich update. The second question is also very similar. Why do you use a Mac rather than Windows platform? J Roach 1. And uh, I want to say that I was a Windows user for almost about 18 years. I just uh, migrated to Mac about three or three and a half years ago. And the reason for that was that I was tired of babysitting Windows, doing uh, software updates, uh, doing virus updates, etc. Actually, I've got old doing this babysitting. I used to like it a lot, tinkering around with Windows, etc to make it work uh, optimally but uh, I'm bored with that and I like the ease of use with the Mac computer also as you have noticed I have migrated to a lot to video editing and stuff like that and I feel for those things a Mac is a much better computer again it's a personal preference both are great platforms you can get work done on both of them but uh, generally I like the Macs right now that's why I'm using the same and the next question is from hey Ranjit I'm planning to buy an Alienware X51 desktop which recently launched in India I want to know if it's worth it it's by Velkuri Day and Alienware makes great gaming uh, desktop and laptop computers and you can't go wrong with the same I haven't specifically looked at the X51 or got the chance to play around with it uh, but if you are not comfortable uh, making your own custom PCs go with the Alienware computers they are great but if you can make a custom rig uh, you can definitely make a much more powerful machine uh, than you can get with the Alienware I hope that answers the question the next question is from John Smith 230. When are the prices of hard disk getting low? Any idea? And can you build a PC with an AMD processor, generally a quad core or hex core? Uh, please tell the specs. Thanks in advance. Uh, regarding the hard disk pricing, yeah, definitely uh, the hard disk pricing is going to get a little bit better. It won't be as good as what we have seen uh, uh, before this uh, hard disk uh, pricing should due to the flooding in Thailand. Uh, but you in the next uh, about two or three months the pricing should uh, come down approximately by 30 or 40 percent and the next thing is uh, about AMD processors yeah AMD processors are great choices if you are on a tight budget you can definitely go with the Phenom X4 or the X6 processor they offer a great bang for the price to performance ratio 
I can't tell you the specs right now because uh, I need to answer other questions. So maybe I'll, um, I'll make a video regarding that later on. But regarding uh, quad core, hex core and etc. If you want to uh, get more info regarding that, you can check out this video that I made earlier. Next question is by Freaking Misha. Uh, is it smart to buy a graphic card right now? which are actually based on 40 nanometer chipset architecture or wait for the upcoming 28 nanometer chipset. Graphic cards HD 7950 HD 7970 HD uh, these are by ATI. I am an NVIDIA lover so I prefer sticking to NVIDIA based cards. NVIDIA still didn't release its latest 28 nanometer Kelper based cards. Sources say that uh, they launch in April 2012. My problem is whether uh, should I buy the graphic card right now or wait. I would suggest that you just wait for a while if you're looking for the NVIDIA based graphic cards because the new architecture is just going to come around the corner. Uh, but right now if you want the most powerful graphic card by ATI, uh, the 7970 series uh, is the way to go. Uh, next is what is the best price to performance sound card for a desktop PC? It's by GDI Alpha. For this question, I would be needing you your help because are you using a dedicated sound card? If so, which one are you using? I am personally using a Creative Odyssey 2 uh, sound card. It is pretty good, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I haven't personally used any other sound card. I heard that the Osir Sonar series also are pretty good. So if any of you are using a dedicated sound card, please uh, let me know about that in the comment section below. I'll highly appreciate the same. Are uh, you comfortable with the size of the Galaxy Note? I'm going to buy one within a week. Uh, this is Ankit Dude, 123. Yes, Ankit, uh, you, uh, I got used to the Galaxy Note in about two or three days. Uh, you can check out this video uh, in which I talk about my usage with Galaxy Note, two months of usage. You'll get a lot of answers over there. I want to know if Samsung Galaxy Y is upgradable to Android Ice Cream Sandwich. This is by Sumit. No, sadly, the uh, Samsung Galaxy Y is a budget Android phone and this will not get upgraded to Ice Cream Sandwich. The next question is from Abhi the start. I want to know when my Xperia Neo V will get the ICS update. Uh, the uh, Xperia Neo V uh, is going to get the Ice Cream update pretty soon. I don't know the time frame, but uh, uh, it, it's going to get, definitely get the ice cream and a sandwich update officially by Sony. This qu next question is from Sahil1105. I want to buy a new wireless router. My budget is around rupees 10,000. Uh, I want to have a very good range if possible. My entire house which spends about 2,000 square feet. Wireless printing capabilities, NAS capabilities and a BritTorrent client. Please suggest me a router for the same. Uh, Sahil, uh, you can definitely go with this Osus router. That's the N56U. It's, uh, it, it'll uh, do all the stuff that you have asked for. It is one of the best dual band routers that I have reviewed. Uh, there's also a new model by Osus known as Osus N66U. Uh, though I haven't reviewed the same, I'm waiting for Osus to send me a unit for review. But you can definitely check this Osus N56U. It's a great router and it is for around 8500 rupees currently the next question is from habim and he asks uh, is there any android phone with only keypad not with touchscreen i don't know if you don't have touchscreen they are hybrid they have a physical keyboard and they also have a touch sensitive screen uh, there are a couple of android phones i can't remember the exact model names but there is one galaxy y pro there's one by motorola so just google around they are some but they will have a touch screen, but also they'll have a physical quality keyboard. The next question is from Football Mastro. Ranjit, when is IV Bridge coming out and is NVIDIA releasing new graphic cards this year? Yeah, uh, and the first uh, part of the question is yes, IV Bridge is going to come out pretty soon. I would say uh, end of April or early May and NVIDIA is definitely releasing the new graphic cards pretty soon. Next question is from uh, Krishna0586. What is the difference between an Intel CPU and an AMD CPU? And why is AMD cheaper and why is Intel more preferred? Uh, it will be very difficult to quickly answer the uh, architecture difference between both the processors. But right now, Intel CPUs have an edge. Uh, they do much more work per clock and generally they are more, much more efficient than AMD parts. Also, the uh, Intel CPUs runs a lot cooler than the AMD processors. So if you want the most high performance uh, CPU right now, you can go definitely go with Intel CPUs. But if you are on a very tight budget, AMD processors offer a much more value. 
whenever i'm outside i want to uh, watch my home through internet how can i do that this is by funkra and it's very easy you just need to purchase a uh, ip based uh, uh, webcam and do note that these days these ip based webcams offer us a lot of features so shop around for what features you like for example uh, some of the latest uh, ip cams can offer uh, what do you say even you can watch the feed on your mobile phone etc so if uh, i haven't personally used any of these ip uh, web enabled ip cams so if any of you guys are already using ip webcams uh, so please share your experience uh, uh, regarding the same below and also the model names that will be great uh, everybody uh, it will be helpful for everyone so these were the questions for the second q a session i hope you liked them and if you would like that i answer some of your tech questions do post your tech questions uh, in the comment section below and start it with the q and a tag so that i know that i need to include these uh, questions in the next q a session that i'll be doing next friday i hope you found this video helpful that's it for now this is ranjit from tech2bus.com and hopefully i'm going to see you in my next video